this is Pete from the Foundation Online Amateur Radio Training Course. This is a short video on SWR, Standing Wave Ratio, and we have one of our students, Moira, to thank for this one. She says she understands the concept, but she's curious about the SWR meter itself and setting up and checking antennas. So let's take a brief look. For this exercise, I'm going to use a cheap and cheerful SWR meter. This one can cope with VHF as well as HF. I'm also going to use a Baofeng handheld, and you can see here at the top I've got an adapter to connect it to a PL259 cable. And on the screen now is a homemade dipole antenna that I use for training. It's basically two telescopic aerials from a portable radio stuck to a piece of wood. So let's get started. I'm going to connect the transmitter into the TX socket on the back of the SWR meter. You see this too, the left is for VHF, UHF, and the right is for HF. And into the antenna socket, I'm going to connect my dipole antenna. So here's the meter itself. And down the bottom, it's set to average and also for the VHF and UHF range. So this is everything connected together. That's the Baofeng connected into the meter and the telescopic antenna. So using this little test dipole antenna I've got, you can basically extend or retract each side of the dipole. So you can increase the length of the antenna. And of course you have to make sure that both sides match because it's a balanced antenna. And also you can decrease the length of the antenna. So it's a handy way of us playing around with the antenna length. Now the first thing I need to do is calibrate the SWR meter. First of all, I set the power to the lowest power setting possible, 5 watts, and then from SWR to calibrate. And with it set to calibrate, I just transmit. I adjust the cal dial until the needle is pointing at cal. Now I switch to SWR. So I transmit again. And here you can see I have an SWR of 1.5 to 1. That's acceptable, but we can do better. So we know our SWR is a little bit high at 1.5 to 1, so we're going to reduce the length of the antenna. Again, making sure it's equal at both ends. And then we'll try again. Now at this point we should warn you if you have a shack cat in the area, he may want to help out with the antenna length. After safely removing the cat, let's try again. We'll transmit again at low power from the Baofeng. And now you can see the SWR meter is barely moving, so we've got our one-to-one, -one, a perfect match. So here's the antenna at the correct length. And you should hopefully know from your feeders and antennas section that a dipole is half wave. We're testing on the frequency range between 144 and 146, which you should know is two meters. So a half wave of two meters should hopefully be one meter. Let's test it out. There you go, just about a meter. That hopefully explains the basic principles of SWR tuning. Now in the real world, if we were using HF, we would use an AMU or an ATU, which will automatically do the adjustment for you. For the example here, I'm tuned to 40 meters. Here is my AMU, and I'll tune in to the frequency. And you can see the AMU has correctly tuned itself into the frequency and given me an SWR of 1.0. Perfect. Let's change to the 20 meter band. We'll tune again. And there we go, we have an SWR of 1.3 to 1. To finish off this video, I'll play you a short clip from one of our older videos. This is from a foundation course and shows how you can use an antenna analyzer to get the same results. Here's our Kelly on her course. I've been learning about the different types of antenna and how to set them up. We're doing the uh, tuning in of an antenna. So in this case, we happen to be on two meters and we're trying to get the VSWR down to its lowest value that we can achieve so that the efficiency of the transmitter to the antenna is at its best. The equipment I've been using is a, an MFJ analyzer and a dipole on a wooden stand 
as we adjust the telescopic parts either side of the dipole it will be displaying the PSWR and also the impedance. That's our little look at the basics of VSWR. We hope you found that useful and good luck with your studies.